Hey guys, I Device Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share a few iPhone tricks with you guys that you must try. Now, some of these will be brand new tricks to iOS 13 that you may not know about, and some of these will be answering questions from some other YouTube comments in other videos. So let's start off with the music application. Now, I'm pretty sure there's been times where you want to share a particular portion of a song with someone. So if you go to the songs here to the player and click on the lyrics, this will bring up the lyrics, of course, here. And if you scroll through the lyrics, you can actually fast forward to a particular portion of a song by tapping on the lyrics. So if you tap on the lyrics, let's say you want to share this portion of the song tap into there and the song would actually fast forward to that particular portion of the song by simply trying to find or finding the lyrics right here so this is a really neat trick i think you guys are definitely going to enjoy this one and it's one that i think you should definitely try on your iphone it's compatible with every ios 13 device by the way now this next feature that you must try allows you to find any ios device that may be lost around the house now most people believe that find my is only for devices that are lost or stolen outside of the house but you can actually use this app to find devices inside of your home as well so if you misplace your apple watch or your ipad you can actually go through the device list here and select a particular device from this list and send a sound signal and this will create a sound of course on that device and you'll be able to find it around the house so not only can you find a lost devices outside the house but you can actually find devices in the home as well with the find my application now this next one has to do with control center on face id devices most users complain that face id devices you have to reach all the way to the top and invoking control center with one hand can be complicated at times well there's an actually work around if you go to settings head on over to accessibilities touch then we go to assistive touch and enable it we can actually click customize the menu here and remove all these icons that you see here tap onto the icon that you want to customize click on the, the control center extension so let's go ahead and find a control center here see if i can find it there it is and then you're done that's it now all you have to do is bring down the assistive touch button to the bottom right and with one hand you can bring down control center very easily so that complaint that you can invoke control center one hand it can be easily fixed with this simple shortcut and this is a trick that you may want to try as well now this next trick allows you to customize your memoji to a particular season or time of the year now this past holiday season i customized my memoji to have a santa claus hat on you can customize it throughout the year to have different skin tones and colors to represent different seasons and things like that so all you have to do is head on over to the memojis categories here and I click on the three dots there to edit click on edit and let's say I want to change the headwear here to represent uh, the holidays say Santa Claus hat so right there it is you can choose that and then you can scroll all the way up and choose a different color from the picker here and let's say I pick red and this will give me a Santa Claus hat on my memoji now again you can customize it and change it to whatever you wish depending on the season so let's say i want to wear this backwards hat and let's say it's sam patrick so i'm going to change my skin tone uh, right here to green to represent that and then uh the headwear i'm going to change the color to uh, orange or the facial hair to orange and this could represent let's say for example sam patrick's so there it is how to customize uh, your memoji to a particular season of the year or a time of the year it's really cool really easy to do now for this next one is also under accessibility so if we go to accessibilities touch enable assistive touch here and then we scroll all the way down on the assistive touch menu and turn on dwell controls this allows us to control the iphone or the ipad using a mouse now this is going to be of course more useful on ipad devices but it's also working here on the iphone as you can see now this allows you to use the mouse as a pointing device and to control your iphone just like you would with your hands just like that and again since ipads you can prop up this is going to be very useful the way to set it up is make sure you turn on dual controls assistive touch select a pointing device a compatible uh, bluetooth mouse and you can set up hot corners and hot corners allows you to uh, invoke certain actions depending on what you choose so right here we have hot corners we have top left screenshot top right siri bottom left uh, app switcher and bottom right control center so top left you see there boom screenshot just like that top right it's going to be siri and you can also go ahead and customize the time 
uh, before the actual action takes place. So for example, right here you see that we have approximately a half second. So there it is, half second, and that action will invoke depending on the time that you set it. Now this actual feature I have a separate video on, so if you wanna check it out, links will be in the description for a more detailed explanation, but it's a really useful trick, especially for iPad owners. Now last but not least, I wanna talk about Siri. Now Siri can actually play specific radio stations depending on your location. Now this one's gonna be very useful. I'm sure you're in your car sometimes, you have a radio station playing, and they may be playing awesome songs, and you wanna continue listening to that music on your iPhone when you get out of the car. Well, you can actually see the number on the radio and ask Siri to play that particular radio station. So for example, just the other day I was in the car, they were playing really great music on 104.7 radio stations. So play 104.7 radio. And just like that, Siri will start playing that particular radio station. And of course the volume is down because of copyright right there, but there it is, the radio station is playing. So Siri can actually play specific radio stations. And this is another iPhone trick that I think you must try and you will love. Let me know what you think about videos like this. If you enjoy them and you want more, make sure to click that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more great content coming your way. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.